Welcome to A Simple Word, with a brief reflection on the scripture readings for this coming Sunday. I'm Father Earl Marr in Victoria, Kansas. In this Sunday's Gospel, the Pharisees will ask Christ, Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar? That's a trick question. If he says yes, he is supporting the Roman oppression of his own people. If he says no, his refusal will incite greater oppression. So Christ avoids their trap with this clever, but also very puzzling reply. He said, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. Now, in the first part, he is saying, pay only what belongs to Caesar. If the tax is fair, pay it. If it is not, no obligation. But then Christ adds a second puzzling command. Repay to God what belongs to God. He was asked about taxes to Caesar, but he added our debt to God. Now, the topic was taxes. So do we owe a tax to God? Is there a God tax? Now, no one wants another tax eating into their paycheck. We have federal taxes, state taxes, income taxes, sales taxes. What's left? While we don't like all of those taxes, on sober reflection, we realize that we do have a debt to the government and other agencies for the services they provide for us. Likewise, on prayerful reflection, we know that we certainly have a debt to God for all the blessings we have in our life. So, Yes, there is a God tax. But the God tax is a different kind of tax. It is to be repaid by service to those in need. Your God tax isn't due on April the 15th. It's due every day, because every day we meet people who are in need, or lonely, or troubled, or afraid. St. Philip Neri said, the second coat in your closet does not belong to you. It belongs to the child who has none. That doesn't mean that you may not have two coats. What it means is that your abundance must help those in need. Now, we are often overwhelmed with such worthy causes especially in your mailbox. How do we deal with them? Charity begins at home, in the needs of those closest to you. Now, the payment of our God tax is explained in this gospel passage 
about the judgment at the end of time. Remember that passage when the sheep are separated from the goats. And to the faithful, to the faithful sheep, Christ said, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. And they will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? And he will say to them in reply, whatever you did for the least of my children, that you did to me. So in eternity, we will meet those whom we fed, clothed, or sheltered, or did not. To those who were denied the necessities of life, or more importantly, to those who were denied life itself, we must then explain why we failed to help them. Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. So when you pay all of your taxes, don't forget the tax to God. Whatever you do to the least of my children, that you do to me. May the Lord bless you with peace.